Hey guys, it's Trevor with High Desert Tactical, and today I'm going to do a video a little bit different because I've been inspired by another YouTube channel. He's got, I don't know, some charisma or camera presence or je ne sais quoi that just really blows me away. And he's actually done a couple videos lately that have in, like got me motivated to do something. And I kind of want to share one of my projects that was inspired by him and just talk about a few other things. And I just wanted to just, this is more directed towards scramble. For those of you who aren't familiar with Scramble though, he likes to do bushcraft stuff and he's all about the path to self-reliance. I am totally on the path to self-reliance and if you're familiar with my YouTube, we obviously know that my path is very short, like really short. I need to make sure I have a big whistle when I'm out in the woods because I'm gonna run out of air screaming for help. But there's a few things that I like to do and I do like to go backpacking, I like to go hiking into the woods and pack in for about two or three days, which I've done on a regular basis. I actually did a video recently, or actually last summer, where I decided to hack my hand in half with a hatchet because I was an idiot and didn't have a sheath for my hatchet. So if you're interested in hearing about those videos or the two videos or one of the videos, I can't remember, I'll put them right there. You can check them out. He actually did a video on a sheath that he made out of leather for a, an axe. And that really got me going because one of the videos that I did, that's why I'm talking about two different videos, is one's video is talking about how I hacked my hand off and telling you guys don't do what I did, learn from your mistakes, and always you know, keep your sharp objects and pokey things protected. So that got me started where I did another video, which is right here, on how I made a sheath out of duct tape and a pop bottle. And we obviously know how that sheath really worked out. It, I mean, it definitely you know, kept my hand, ah! I just joking. Kept my hatchet from chopping my hand in half again, and I'm just somehow I this is get bad. This is gonna something bad's gonna happen. I actually decided to redo the sheath, and I decided to come up with this. Oh yeah, it's nice. It's nice. This is my deer hide sheath that I did made all on my own. I'm so proud of myself because I ain't crafty worth a damn. I had some deer hide left over from a project where I made a leather bound book portfolio thing for my photography and so I decided to take what was left of this deer hide and turn it into an axe sheath. The one problem with uh, deer hide or buck hide is it's really supple and it actually isn't really meant for like hardcore use. They make them out, they make nice driving gloves and you know semi medium work gloves out of them, maybe a really nice jacket so you look good. So I'm going to take you through how I made these. I basically took my axe and laid it down on the hide and figured out how I wanted to make the pattern. Then I cut the pattern out. And then I took my fancy dandy sewing machine. Yes, I own a sewing machine. And I sewed the pattern together and figured out how it fit my axe and made a little catch strap so the, axe, so the sheath won't fall off. Then I decided to soak the deer hide in wax, paraffin wax, to help stiffen it up. And it became ultra stiff and it was a little difficult at first, but I finally kind of got it shimmied out and made real nice. This catch strap that I made, I decided to take an old horseshoe nail and spin it around. I have no idea how I did it. And I made a nice clasp out of this horseshoe nail and catch. So now I got a super nice, nice, oh, nice uh, sheath for my axe. It's nice and safe. And I still think this is very unnatural to be doing this, but it's proven how safe I am. So I did take the neck of the axe and wrap it with some more extra buckskin that I had. I used some contact cement to have it wrap around there. I don't know how long that'll last, but I think it looks really cool. So this video at least looks like I got a professional job with my sheath that does not match my axe neck protector, whatever, blah, blah, blah. That's really about all I did for my sheath project. And while I was at it, you noticed that in the video that my axe head was yellow, and that was because the guy that gave it to me, it was very old, but he somehow really liked to paint all his tools yellow. I guess that's so everybody knows that it was his tools. But I ground off all the paint with a wire wheel pneumatic brush, and then I actually changed the handle on the hatchet because I the handle that I had was like kind of straight, and I wanted more like a scout handle and that's what I bought. I know that this hatchet head is not a scout head because it's got a nail remover, but this thing is a super lightweight, very durable little axe. It's gonna be great for splitting kindling and doing a little bit of light work if I need to when I'm out in the, the boonies. 
And then I am gonna have this on my pack nice and safe now so I won't go to emergency room ever again. That's it for this video guys. If you have not checked out Scrambled Doe, you got to check out his channel, especially if you like going out in the woods and getting your survival on. Or hammock sleeping or tarps from trees thing. The path to reliance, self-reliance, is definitely one way to be learned by my buddy Scrambled Doe. He is definitely a guy that is willing to share his knowledge and he's always learning as he goes and sharing that experience with everybody that he knows. And I'm a poet and didn't even know it. But here on YouTube, check it out. His video channel link will be down in the description hooks of this video. That's it, guys. You guys take care. Be safe. And I will catch you later. I did wrap the neck of the axe in some hide and just use some heavy duty um, tacky. Well, I did wrap the axe with some deer hide around the neck to just kind of give it a little bit more protection. I used uh, some. I don't remember what the hell it's called. Damn it.